Hello there guys, look what has arrived today, the Unihertz Titan. We will unbox it it and I will tell you why I bought it and if I will keep it, just check it out. Hello there guys, this is Gentleman Premium Review with another review of a smartphone device. This is the Unihertz Titan and uh, first of all I welcome you again, I hope you are doing well. Um, thank you very much for your comments, users from all around the world with your really nice, nice, nice uh, feedback. Thank you very much, first of all. And um, yeah, I did it again, I bought a smartphone. And as you know, guys, I hope you know, today I'm rocking a um, Sony Xperia 5, which I am very happy. It has a 21 to 9 ratio, really small, slim, lightweight and extreme premium. I'm very happy and I bought it in, in January. Before using uh, a Sony smartphone, I used to have Blackberry phones, yes. Before you give me a down vote or anything else, guys, hear me out, I was using Blackberries like, like six years or seven years. And um, the latest I did have was the Key 2 and I sold it in, in January because it has uh, the Android 8 version and I was uh, eyeing for Android Pie or even Android 10. And um, I'm, I was actually happy, uh, happy because I like to, 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 to write with physical keyboards, you know? And uh, in these days and age, uh, everybody has like a glass slab, you know, all good, iPhone, Samsung, etc., which is fine for me. And uh, I'm happy with the Sony, but I don't know, this guy, this bad boy just arrived and I said, hmm, this is not from Blackberry, but they have also a physical keyboard. And um, one of the best devices I, I ever had in my smartphone career, guys, was, was the Blackberry Passport. It has a really strange ratio, but design-wise it was epic. And um, yeah, unfortunately it has a Blackberry 10, which was a great um, OS, but um, Sure, we don't have any developers, uh, they don't make any apps for it. Um, you die in this uh, hardcore smartphone business. So this bad boy and also the Blackberry Key 2, they have Android, all good. But uh, this one has Android 9 and in October this year they expected to bring out Android 10. So I said to myself, you love the passport, the, the ratio, I will unbox it right now. guys. I will tell you why this is actually a great device. Um, and I'm not sure keeping it because it has a strange design guys uh, trust me on this so let's let's make an unboxing this came out last year with a Kickstarter and uh, it started with 180 bucks I guess and then went up to 200 and I um, now you can buy it on Amazon you can check the link in the description guys so um, yeah you can see it's a Kickstarter product um, from the package I mean very minimalistic all good let's see what they have inside here let's throw this thing out so let's start let's put this sick knife away guys and let's see what we have so right off the box let's see uh, the usual suspects the I guess some paperwork as usual uh, oh look they gave us something for free, which I always like, guys. A screen protector, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I like this. Things for free. And the regular paper stuff, I guess. And also, I won't read that. As you know me, guys. Nobody reads that. And there we have it. Oh, this looks like a Blackberry passport. I tried to pull it out with my premium gloves. As you know, guys trying to make this channel branded with premium gloves. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my God. I was watching some, some, some reviews about it and many people told, uh, said that this, this is heavy. This is actually 300 gram, kilogram. Let us see what we have otherwise. Oh, a white charger, really nice. It has USB-C. Guys, this is also very important. You have, of course, some, uh, let me say, I guess these are cheap, cheap headphones. Let me see. I, I usually don't use them, guys. I, I have my Bose headphones. But the good thing about this, um, it has a 3.5 jack, so you can insert your earbuds of choice. 
They look like the Apple ones. Let's put them aside. I won't use them anyway. And of course you have the USB-C cable, which is fine for me. So I'm a smartphone addict, guys. So sometimes um, I just can't help myself. If I see good smartphones, I buy them. Of course, when it came to BlackBerry, I used to have every BlackBerry, the Bold 9900, um, the Q10, the Z30, uh, the BlackBerry Passport in black, in white, and even the Silver Edition. My girlfriend wanted me to kill me because I used to have so much smartphones. But other than that, guys, everybody has his, uh, his hobbies, so mine's were always smartphone. And there we have it, guys. Before I, let me let me take it out from from, from this uh, bag, and it is very heavy, 300 kilograms. Wow, this looks actually better live than in these videos because, of course, this design, guys, is not for for everybody. You know, um, it is really heavy, and uh, I must say, live, live, it looks, it has another, it, it looks not that bad for me. I like really the, the red button, but before we come that, I wanted just to tell you about the, the specs. So we have here a MediaTek Helio P60 octa-core processor. The display, as you can see, is a 4.5 inch. That means 1440 to 1440 pixels LCD resolution. The operating system right now here at, on September is the Android 9 Pi. You have an internal RAM with 6 GB, which is really great. You have an internal storage of 128 GB, which is also very premium. The camera is supposed not to be that good when you read on the internet. It has a 60 megapixel rear and a 8 megapixel selfie camera. The good thing about this, it has an IP67, so that means it is water and dust uh, resistant. And another good thing is you can charge it wireless. That means if you have the wireless port, you know, you put it on and uh, you're good to go, you can charge it. And uh, it has a 6000 mAh battery, that means you can charge it and I guess you can run for this like two days, even three days or even four days, depending on what you are doing, guys. So these are the specs. And uh, right now, I don't know, guys. I mean, if you go to the coffee with your buddies and friends or to the restaurant and everybody, you know, sometimes they put your, your smartphone on the table, Every smartphone nearly looks the same. There's no uniqueness anymore. Maybe you have a notch and here and there. But if you put this bad boy on the table, everybody will speak to you and say, hey, what is that phone? I hate it, I love it, what is it? Um, are you coming from the 90s with those physical keyboards? And um, yeah, I mean, I will try it out later and um, put it on the latest um, OS, but right now, I mean, it has a, a, a good heft, 300 kilogram. It's, I guess, it's a lot. You can put it in your pocket. It's a rugged phone. It's, it's, it's actually a BlackBerry Passport with Android uh, on steroids. You know. So if you, somebody who say, okay, I need something where I don't need a case. Maybe I drop phones. Maybe this is something for you. I try to put it on and see what happens. There you go, guys. This is the Unihertz powered by Android. And uh, I'm not sure if I will keep it. I'm honest because sometimes I have so strange days where I need to buy a new smartphone. And actually I'm happy with the Sony, but um, if something from, from Blackberry comes out, actually I buy it instantly. And um, they're actually out of business when it comes to the hard phone, uh, uh, hardware sector. The TLC was the latest one who licensed their, the, their brand. And um, next year, hopefully, we will have another Texas company called Onboard who will make a 5G uh, uh, BlackBerry. And um, we will see how this works out, guys. So uh, I will test it and I'm not sure. I will try it for some, some days. I'm happy that I have a physical keyboard. And um, if this works out, I mean, it has a really strange design. But I remember when I have this BlackBerry Passport, I was really enjoying it. So. Um, we will see guys. So um, I like the red button. You can put it on as a, as a torch, I guess, when you, when you push it. Yeah, there we go. It has a torch. But you can uh, put it with other functions. And um, it has a scrollable keyboard. That means when I put it on, you can scroll up, there, up and down, sideways. 
and the design so far it has hard cover plastic it has a real aluminum metal and um, yeah I'm not sure guys um, I will try it and maybe I will bring it back I'm not that kind of guy who's buying stuff and bring it back but um, right now if it's good and, and better than the key 2 I will try it <laughs> Hey yeah, guys, how are you today? Um, I'm just doing a video and uh, I deleted everything on this uh, Unihertz Titan. I decided to bring it back. To be honest, I was playing with it the entire day. I downloaded everything you need. But there's something missing, guys. I mean, even it comes close to some Blackberry quirks. There's something missing. And when you buy a Blackberry, whether it was the Passport with the unique Blackberry 10, or even the key 1 or key 2 they gave you something blackberry-esque uh, you can't find on the unihertz i mean i miss double tapping on the on the keyboard and uh, many many other things i mean I, there are some tricks and tools you can you can do but uh, something was missing i don't know from from the software i don't know there's something missing and um, from the design guys it's it looks actually really good it's it's a manly smartphone i must say um to be honest i like the red button nice design but uh, it should come from blackberry there's something from the software area this is missing um i guess even getting the key 2 will be a better option for me but um i sold it in january because Android 8 uh, didn't fit for me, so I'm very happy um, right now having my Sony Xperia 5. You can see over there, it's it's a great phone. We we don't even need to discuss. But this here, I don't want to keep it as a second phone because I don't believe in having second or third phone. I like to have one phone and I go straight for it. But um, to go fully on this something is missing I need the the Blackberry style I mean you can download the Blackberry suit etc but I don't believe in um, uh, paying monthly fees for for software I'm not that kind of guy so when you buy the key 2 you know you already have everything pre-installed uh, I, I installed the Blackberry um, keyboard the virtual keyboard everything nice but something is missing and uh, to go 100% I don't know I said to myself I will write this bad boy until the very new um, Blackberry from onboard mobility will come out next year hopefully other than that I mean you can <laughs> the good thing is if you have the passport this comes very 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 close but to go 100% the camera is not that good I tried to install another one and many things didn't work out so it's a good phone you know but you need to invest a lot of time to to make it a great great phone you like on your style so I don't have that time to invest guys to be honest um, I don't I don't have the time so I like to buy the phone out of the box maybe I don't know because I like to, to play around maybe I'm gonna get myself my third <laughs> Uh, Blackberry key 2 if I'm tired about this but um, I don't know so um, this reminds you to be honest guys you don't have the original Blackberry that's it it's like I don't I, I don't want to say bad things about this but it's like this shows you you don't have the real one you know it's like wearing a fake Rolex you know you get a great fake Rolex but it always will remind you that you can't afford the real one and as a premium guy, I say to myself, and it's not about brand. I, Blackberry is, is a very intelligent company, despite the fact that they ruined actually the hardware area. But um, they bought you the, the hardware, the epic hardware, and of course, great software. Everything was was working. And, I, and we had a lot of luxury, you know, Blackberry passports, Blackberry 10, Key 1, Key 2 those little tricks they bought with you they are missing here you know they are missing you know flick flicking the words and um, some some I, I, I like to to paste um, the eye on the details and some details are missing here so I won't get it guys to be honest 
I mean, for a budget phone, it's it's really great. For 300 bucks, you can't say anything. It's a great phone. But if you're a true hardcore BlackBerry fan, this is not this this won't do it. And this is sad because I like the BlackBerry Passport. I like the screen ratio. It's great. But something is missing, and so I will stay to to this uh, Sony right now, and I will bring it back. So um, this was a strange, fun express to another world. I was hoping that I can make it a little bit like a BlackBerry, but no, no, this didn't work out that well. Sometimes I'm missing the 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 letters. So I'm not 100% convinced. I'm willing to to wait until a great 5G BlackBerry is coming out next year, and I will be the first to get it without any discussion. I will see how the software is improving, and I don't want to install any other strange apps I don't know and uh, to make it like a passport because it isn't at the end. So this is my point. I hope you enjoyed my video, and please excuse me for being so raw and honest to you guys. But this is me, I don't want to tell you any BS. So, I hope you enjoyed. See you very soon. Bye-bye.